What's up, Vaqueros, and welcome back to the channel. You're one stop for all your Call of Duty shock and needs. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a little bit of a deep dive into Dragon's Breath. And more specifically, we're going to be comparing Dragon's Breath to Buckshot, and we're going to be seeing if Dragon's Breath is even worth using anymore. So what I'll do is give a basic overview of how Dragon's Breath seems to work. Then I'll talk about each shotgun individually and give my input as to whether you should be using Dragon's Breath on it or not. So I'm going to try not to have too many numbers all over the screen, so bear with me, but sometimes it's a little necessary for what I'm explaining. But I'm going to start off with the basics, and then we'll move into each individual shotgun. Now first, let's go ahead and start off with some basic information about what Dragon's Breath does. So of course, as you may or may not know, Dragon's Breath inflicts a burn damage, and then you also have your initial pellet damage. So basically, you hit your shotgun blast, you hit your pellets, and then you have two ticks of burn damage that take into effect and kind of burn over time. So with the pump action specifically, I find that if you hit one pellet, you're basically dealing five damage per tick, so 10 damage total if you hit one pellet. For two pellets hit, you basically deal 10 damage per tick, it seems like, so 20 total. And for three, four, or however many after that, it basically takes 30 extra damage to your shot with your initial pellets damage. So basically, if you want to find out how much Dragon's Breath is doing damage-wise, at least for the pump actions, take that damage you see on sim.gg, for example, and just add 30, and that's essentially what you're getting. Now, the Expedite and the other shotguns seem to be a little bit different, but I didn't go super in-depth with them. I'm going to talk about the shots to kill and stuff, but that's basically the gist of how it works. So you're dealing more burn damage each tick if you hit more pellets, it seems like, but there is a cap, and you won't go above 30, at least for the heavy hitters. Again, that might change for the Expedite. I didn't really go super in-depth with that one, or the KV Broadside. Now, the typical downside for Dragon's Breath is that you have a very steep damage drop-off, so usually it's a lot stronger up close, but at range, it's just a lot more pitiful. So that's one of the big reasons why Dragon's Breath might be avoided for a lot of people if they're trying to push at further ranges, so that's something to keep in mind. But let's go ahead and start hopping into some individual shotguns right off the bat, and we'll start with the most controversial of them, which is the KV Broadside. Now, to be honest with you guys, I'm kind of tired of seeing people talk about this shotgun, at least with Dragon's Breath and Buckshot. I love the gun with slugs, but to use it with Dragon's Breath and the Buckshot, I rarely ever use it. It's still the best shotgun, I just don't enjoy using it as much as some of the other more fun shotguns like the Bryson's. It's just how I am. But it is, in my opinion, probably the best shotgun overall, because it's super easy to use, great magazine capacity, and very solid damage up close with a really good time to kill and a lot of people love to call it broken it is what it is that's just how the community is but anyway this shotgun in particular i'm going to be honest it doesn't really matter what you use buckshot or dragon's breath they have very similar ranges and damage up close and honestly you can get away with either i think a lot of people like dragon's breath because they think it just boosts your damage overall and makes it like a crazy two shot no it doesn't it's still a three shot kill with or without dragon's breath and the ranges like i said are very similar so honestly i'm going to say with this one Use Dragon's Breath, don't use Dragon's Breath. I know that's not a great answer, but it just doesn't matter. But honestly, I know Dragon's Breath is also nice because it disorients the enemies, but at the same time, it also lets the enemies know that you're very clearly using a Dragon's Breath shock and it's a lot more obvious, so just something to keep in mind. But anyway, enough of the broadside. We're all tired of hearing about it. So now I'll talk about the Expedite. As for the Expedite, don't bother with Dragon's Breath. With the most recent buff it got, it basically has unlimited three-shot potential. As long as you can hit a pellet, that range, that distance, it is a three-shot kill no matter what. So from zero to 24 meters or whatever it is, it's a three-shot kill. Of course, you got to hit your pellets, you got to hit your shots, but that's pretty damn nice. Now, Dragon's Breath, doesn't really give you a two shot kill. It doesn't take any less shots to kill. And then it turns it into a four shot and a five shot at ranges. So it's just not really that great. I don't think they bothered tuning Dragon's Breath on this gun, and that's fine. I like having a shotgun that's actually better without Dragon's Breath, and that's definitely the case with this one. You never want to use Dragon's Breath on the Expedite 12, at least of sort of halfway through Season 4 into Season 4 Reloaded. Now, when it comes to the Lockwood 300, it is exactly the opposite, because you never want to use this gun without Dragon's Breath, because without Dragon's Breath, your damage is capped at three pellets unless you aim down sights, and that lifts the cap to four pellets, so you're basically dealing less damage if you're hip-firing, which is pretty bad for a gun like this with only two shots and then of course it's just not really going to get you a two shot kill unless you hit headshots in that first damage drop off range which is that's like the selling point for the shotgun is that really good first drop off range but you can't get a two shot with it unless you hit headshots with buckshot so I don't recommend it, but Dragon's Breath, so much better. It takes away that whole mechanic where hit firing damage is different than the aim down sights damage. So that's really nice. It's a lot more consistent and you get more range in that first drop off. So your two shot with a lot of attachments can go out to about nine and a half meters, which is really, really good. And this thing shoots so fast. It is such a great gun with Dragon's Breath and I highly encourage you to use it if you haven't, but that's the basic gist. Never use this gun without Dragon's Breath in my opinion. Now onto my favorites, which are the Brysons. These are my favorite shotguns by far because of 
the play style they encourage, and I love trying to outmaneuver people with these things. It is so much fun. But let's go ahead and get into some specifics about this one. And this is mainly what the video will focus on is these two, because I think these are the most popular shotguns besides the broadside, and for good reason. So I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth with these, so just bear with me. But essentially, up close in its first two ranges with Dragon's Breath, you're gonna be dealing more damage overall, especially in that max damage range, because point blank, you deal 30 extra damage. So with Buckshot, you deal 200 damage up close. With Dragon's Breath, you deal 230. So the way it works, like I said, is if you look at Sim.gg, you look at the damage you're doing for that particular range and add 30 points to it. And that is essentially what Dragon's Breath will be doing, basically. That's kind of the basic gist of it. Now, this extra damage only makes a real big difference for this gun in the point blank ranges, like that first damage range. Because once you get to that first drop off, that two shot range, then the damage is still better technically than Buckshot, but only by about five to 10 points on average, unless you're hitting headshots with Buckshot. Now, headshots with Buckshot in that first drop off range deal more damage overall than Dragon's Breath does in that same range. So that's pretty cool, but that's kind of with headshots so even though they're easier to hit now with the whole damage mechanic that was introduced in season four it's still not the easiest it's still not the best thing to do to go for headshots with them so you're basically still going to be doing on average more damage overall with dragon's breath in that first drop off range now of course the major caveat that i want to point out like i said before with dragon's breath is that steep damage drop off and with the pumps it is incredibly noticeable because once you get outside of that first drop off range and essentially that two shot range your shotgun turns into a four shot kill. Whereas with Buckshot, it drops to a three shot. So as for which one's better, we kind of have to compare the downsides to each. So of course, up close and personal, Dragon's Breath is just gonna deal way more damage. 30 extra points of damage up close, that's pretty damn good. But outside of that, it's only doing a little bit more damage. Overall, it's about, like I said, five to 10 more points on average, which isn't really that much. It doesn't change your shots to kill. Yes, it can come in handy at times, but it doesn't change your shots to kill or the time to kill. But then you also have to consider the fact that Dragon's Breath turns into a four shot kill after that two shot range, that first drop off range, which is pretty damn bad. And then Buckshot stays at a three shot kill and then a four shot kill after that. So it really comes down to what do you want to do? If you're just going to be up close and personal in someone's face, then maybe Dragon's Breath is for you. But I think overall, in general, the most versatile way to go, which is kind of funny to say versatile since it's a shotgun that doesn't really go hand in hand with shotguns, is Buckshot because you're going to be dealing pretty solid damage still compared to Dragon's Breath outside of your max damage range. And plus, you drop down to a three shot kill, which is way more manageable than a weak four shot kill outside of that first drop off range with Dragon's Breath. So in my opinion, overall, more versatility and great damage overall, I really think you guys should be using Buckshot. You can use that extra attachment slot on something else like for a faster aim down sights time or maybe a better hip fire spread, anything like that. That's why I like running Buckshot and it's been very good and very consistent for me. And honestly, I think that's my preferred way to go. But like I said, Dragon's Breath is still good. You can easily make both work, but I think Buckshot wins overall for me because of the solid damage and the versatility compared to Dragon's Breath. All right, so that's basically everything I wanted to talk about. Sorry if I rambled a lot or just kind of talked a lot. I know it was a lot to listen to, but hopefully you guys learned something useful from this video. Now, I want to know down below in the comments, what do you think about Dragon's Breath? Do you use it on one particular shotgun over another? How about the pumps? Are you more of a Buckshot person or do you like using Dragon's Breath all the way? And with all that being said, guys, I will see you in the next shotgun video. Dude, what the hell? Hey kid, you're a pussy. They're using a shotgun. Hey, Grandma.